the Johnny's Anti-Social Club Rolling Stone Band. <laughs> All right, good evening. Um, I'm going to start off with my uh, favorite country song of all time, because they're also my favorite country band. Probably my favorite disco band, too, because <laughs> I don't have any other disco bands I know exist. Uh, anyway, this one's called Dead Flowers. It's one of my favorites.
here to get stoned tonight, right? Well, it's definitely smoky in here. Smoky. How are you guys doing? Wow, that was great. Thank you, Trevor, for just, I mean, just opening up this Friday night. I hope you guys are here, ready to have a good time. You got ready to have a good time? I am. Good. All right, are we ready for the next tune? Let's keep yeah. this train going. Oops, right over there. All right, let's do this. Another one for us. Eh? All righty.
Our secret weapon, Mark Mateka on the bass. <laughs> now, if we could get Mr. Greg East to come on up here and blow a little harp, make it his prime time Johnny's debut as well. This is my favorite disco song, and it's the only disco song I know.
we're going to keep things rolling along. Uh, we're going to get Lane gonna up here up to Lane. sing a song. We're going to bring up Lane for a special song. Sorry. <laughs> that least that acoustic. I'm gonna play one chord of this song and I want to know if you can guess this. Are you ready? Are you ready? First chord, one chord, one note. That's it. Are you ready? <laughs> Shit, he didn't even get the chord on. We've been teasing uh, Buddy here about this, right? Most handsome man in Flim Flum gonna sing his song. <laughs> I just want to say, just before you start objectify him, you know, I wish he was singing it to me. That's all I want to say. I find it moving. I like that look. Thank you. It's still really going to slow her down here.
love you, baby Everywhere I look, I see your eyes There ain't a woman that comes close to you Well, come on Band, eh? Clean ladder route. All I, all I kept hearing was lefty. Lefty. It's kind of weird, eh? A little weird.
Once you're fired on all cylinders. Somebody knows what they want for Christmas, a cowbell. Dolphin? Dolphin, yeah. That's sure the dolphin. My turn. All right, Let's drink one of the 13 liters of water I'm drinking today. I wish I could say the same. Practically giving it away. This is the song the Rolling Stones have performed the most. Uh, they used to start all their shows with it back in the day. Um, hell of a tune, great energy. I love the way these guys play it. Brent, whenever you're ready. <laughs> breakfast at about four. <laughs> Lefty's gonna sing a song for us. Well, I have to admit, I, I actually sort of pawned off part of the good part of this song, dude. These two great singers here, so we're gonna do it for you, okay? Happy you did.
just do it for yourself. speech with this song, folks. Uh, any Buddy Holly fans out there tonight in the house? Anybody old enough to remember Buddy Holly? Because this is the song the Stones ripped off from Buddy Holly. Uh, uh, I thought that there's a couple older than me, but I want to. We want to send it out to the late Don Patience, who uh, was a guy that in the some some of you know it as the Copper Belt, some of you know it as the Hooterville, the Belt Buckle. What else? What do we call that hotel? Anything else? Anyway, we know we know where it is. And Don and his partner, his business partner out there kept live music alive in Flimflon and Creighton for about a decade and a half or two decades after the Flimflon Hotel closed. And so uh, he was an inspiration to, uh, to all of us, to the folks you see on the stage tonight, and that's maybe part of the reason why we're here. And what I want to say just in closing was that he gave me an idea. I'm almost done, Lefty. That's all right. <laughs> what, what, Don, what, 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 Don, what Don taught me, <laughs> along with the fact that I loved live music, was that if you owned your own venue, you could play with the band on Saturday night. <laughs> That is correct, sir. <laughs> so thank you, Don, for that. And you're welcome back again. Yeah. yeah, thank you. What a great band. Such a privilege to be up here on stage with these folks.
said, love is real and not fade away. I said, love is real and not fade away. third song we're going to play that I play with Thomas Gibney on drums at some time in my life. Really? Hold play. Just put a note there. Tom here? Yes, he is. Yes, Thomas is here. Yes, he is. All right. Shout out to Tom. Here we go. Whenever you're ready, Lefty.
Okay, so this is uh, an older one. Uh, I got to pick one. <laughs> so there's going to be a weird one, sorry. Um, this is from the 1969 album Sticky Fingers, and it is a cover that the Stones did by Mississippi Fred McDowell, and it's a gospel song saying, when the Lord gets ready, you gotta move. You know, the Stones really just are a blues band, and so it's nice to do something that's really their roots, and that's what they did for the longest time before they started writing, so it's pretty cool. Great pick, great pick. tune now I guess before it's the break which is really hard to believe how fast this is flying by are you guys having a good time right on so 15 20 minutes and then you come on back now you hear
Love when your whole world is black. 